On today's show, we have a prayer for life votive candle, a St. Peregrine statue, and the coronation of the Virgin framed art here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. I'm Emily LaSusa, and I'm so glad to be with you today on EWTN Religious Catalog. Mother's Day is this week on May the 9th, so we have even more beautiful gift ideas for you. The first is a gorgeous crucifix. It's made of alabaster stone, and the cross has been covered with gold leaf. It measures nine and a quarter inches tall, and it's hand-painted with soft details and is imported from Italy. It has a ring-style hanger on the back. What a beautiful heirloom for your home. This crucifix is all new to EWTN Religious Catalog this month, and I think it's a beautiful addition to our collection of crosses and crucifixes. The month of May is dedicated to Mary in a special way. May is a time for crowning Mary, queen of our hearts and our homes. Maybe your parish has a statue of the Blessed Mother that is crowned with flowers during this month. Well, certainly you can celebrate this lovely tradition right in your own home by placing a special crown or wreath of flowers around any statue you have of Our Lady. I made my own crowns out of artificial flowers and my daughter always enjoys placing the crowns on the statues of Mary that we have on our home altar and in our garden at the beginning of May. I really like statues of Mary that include a removable crown. It makes celebrating May crowning even more special. Here's one of my favorites that we have. It's an Our Lady of Fatima statue. Isn't she lovely? This beautiful statue was made in Portugal. Our Lady stands on a cloud with three doves at her feet. Her pale garments are studded with jeweled details and her golden crown that is removable, it's made of plastic and it's attached into a little hole at the top of the statue. Of course, her lovely crown is removable, like I said, perfect for May crownings. The statue is made of resin and measures 24 inches high, but we have two smaller sizes available as well, a 20 inch version and a 15 inch available at EWTNRC.com. Here is a gorgeous piece of art for your home that celebrates the coronation of the Virgin. This gicle print is a replica of original artwork by Lorenzo Monaco, circa 1407. We see Christ and his mother Mary here, both seated on a throne. Jesus places a crown on her head and our Blessed Mother crosses her hands on her chest in a gesture of acceptance. It's a long-held tradition that Our Lady was assumed into heaven, and there she was crowned as queen. There are allusions to this in the book of Revelation, in the woman crowned with 12 stars. This colorful piece is a wonderful example of early Renaissance painting and shows how this moment, the fifth glorious mystery of the rosary, has been depicted for centuries. It's framed in an antique gold wood frame with a finished back and wire hanger. It measures 18 and a half inches by 11 inches. Next, I wanna show you an amazing centuries old book that you may not have heard of called Crown of the Virgin, an ancient meditation on Mary's beauty, virtue, and sanctity. This publication is the first translation into English of a Latin work entitled La Bellis de Corona Virginis, or The Little Book on the Crown of the Virgin. It was translated by Father Robert Nixon, OSB. Traditionally, it has been ascribed to St. Edelfonsus of Toledo, who is a great monk, abbot, and bishop of the seventh century. In this beautiful, moving, and ornate literary portrait, the author imaginatively and lyrically fashions a magnificent crown for the Blessed Virgin Mary, decorated with 12 radiant jewels, six brilliant stars, and six fragrant flower blossoms. And each of these is interpreted as representing a particular aspect of the beauty, 
beneficence, virtue, or sanctity of the Blessed Virgin. It's the perfect companion for guiding your daily devotion to the Queen of Heaven. Each chapter reveals a glimpse into the glories of Mary, sure to inspire the heart of the reader with ever more ardent devotion to the Mother of God. This little known book might be the perfect addition to your bookshelf or that of any mother you know. A devotion that might not be familiar to you is that of the Franciscan Crown Rosary. The Franciscan Crown, also called the Rosary of the Seven Joys of the Blessed Virgin, dates back to the year 1422. Like me, you're probably more familiar with the Seven Sorrows of Our Lady. Well, Our Lady experienced moments, of course, of both deep pain and great joy, just as any mother does. The seven joys on which we reflect as we pray this beautiful rosary are the Annunciation, the Visitation, the Birth of Our Lord, the Adoration of the Magi, the Finding of the Child Jesus in the Temple, the Resurrection of Jesus, and the Assumption and Coronation of Mary as Queen of Heaven. This wood bead seven decade rosary has a silver tone miraculous metal centerpiece and a San Damiano crucifix. And a St. Francis medal hangs from the rosary down next to the cross as well with the inscription, pray for us on the back of the medal. It also includes an insert explaining the rosary of the seven joys of the Blessed Virgin and is imported from Italy. A beloved apparition of Our Lady is that of Our Lady of Knock. It's one of my favorite depictions of the Blessed Mother. At Knock in Ireland, Mother Mary appeared wearing all white with beautifully gathered folds down the front of her gown. She wore a tall, ornate gold crown, just like she's seen here. Our Lady was deep in prayer with her eyes and hands raised to the Father. This new statue measures eight and a half inches tall and there's gold text on the base, which reads, Knock. This is a lovely little statue, and it's perfect for keeping that idea of Mary as queen of our hearts and our homes in the forefront all year long. And if you prefer bronze statues, we have this exact same statue available for you in cold cast bronze on EWTNRC.com. I wanna show you this rosary and box set which was inspired by another beautiful Marian apparition, Our Lady of Guadalupe. This delicate yet detailed rosary and its matching rosary box are made of metal with beautiful red enamel inlay and accents. The rosary consists of three millimeter round metal Hail Mary beads and red enamel filled Our Lady of Guadalupe medals for the Our Fathers. The Guadalupe centerpiece and three lobed crucifix also have red enamel accents. And I like that the reverse of each of those Guadalupe medals has an image of the divine mercy on it. The rosary measures 14 inches when laid flat. And the box, which I'll show you now, measures one and seven eighths of an inch by one and three quarters of an inch. It's a half inch deep and it has a plastic liner. So your rosary can tuck right inside, or you could use it to store rings or little earrings, anything that you want to keep close at hand. Well, I am a big fan of Catholic jewelry, and we have some truly gorgeous gift ideas to show you now for mom or for any Catholic woman. The first is a gold over sterling Celtic knot cross. This stunning cross necklace is made from 16 karat gold over sterling silver. It's set with 15 cubic zirconia gemstones with a Celtic knot detail right in the center. The cross is suspended from an 18 inch genuine rhodium plated curb chain with a lobster claw clasp. And the cross measures 30 by 19 millimeters and it's proudly made in the USA and has been hand polished and engraved by New England silversmiths. Next, we have an ornate crucifix that I'm sure you will have opportunities to evangelize while wearing. It's a gold over sterling fleur-de-lis crucifix pendant. This necklace is also made of 16 karat gold over solid sterling silver. 
Each beam of the cross blossoms into a fleur-de-lis, which is a symbol for our Blessed Mother. The crucifix measures about one and a half inches by one inch and comes on a 24-inch genuine gold-plated endless curb chain. The beautifully detailed metal has been die-struck, hand-polished and engraved by New England silversmiths, and it's also made here in the USA. It's a lovely practice to wear a rosary bracelet. Even if you don't actually take it off to follow along with your prayers, it's still a wonderful holy reminder to pray more each time you glance down through the day and see it. This Murano glass rosary bracelet is so feminine and dainty. The bracelet is composed of 11 8 millimeter Murano glass beads. The beads look like they have delicate, shimmering pink roses inside, accented with pops of blue and metallic gold. Dangling from the bracelet are a silver-toned crucifix and pink enameled miraculous metal, a lovely touch. The beads and metals are strung on rhodium-plated brass wire and chain. The bracelet is adjustable and it has a lobster claw clasp. I'm happy to say that this bracelet is also made in the USA. That's a detail that matters to me when I choose my jewelry. The church encourages us to wear two items that, when blessed, are sacramentals to aid us in our growth in holiness. Our next item combines the two into one lovely work of art. Here is a sterling miraculous metal and scapular metal combination. This metal has a lovely shape and curve to it, almost an ornate shield. We see the Blessed Mother Mary with rays coming out of her extended hands, crushing a serpent under her feet, as she's depicted on the miraculous metal. An image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus lies at the top of the metal, and it's all ornately framed with scroll work and laurel wreath details. And on the back, we can see the reverse of the miraculous metal, and right above that is Our Lady of Mount Carmel with the child Jesus. The metal is made of solid sterling silver and measures about one inch by a half inch and hangs from an 18 inch genuine rhodium plated curb chain that has a lobster claw clasp. It's also been made and finished right here in the USA. I have another elegant rosary bracelet to show you next. This one is made from four millimeter Swarovski cube crystal beads and a small silver tone miraculous metal and crucifix hang from the bracelet. I love the way these square beads catch the light and they're really unique as well. The bracelet is adjustable and it has a lobster claw clasp. Those who are particularly devoted to the sacred heart will appreciate this next sterling crucifix, I think. The lobes, as you can see, of the cross at the top and at the arms form three small sacred hearts, each crowned with thorns and burning with Christ's love for us. The sterling silver crucifix is made in the USA with all the great details that I've told you about before, die struck, hand polished and engraved by New England craftsmen. It measures 46 millimeters by 30 millimeters and it comes on a 24 inch rhodium plated endless curb chain. A mother's prayers for her children are powerful and they bear so much fruit. Like St. Monica, you may be laboring in prayer for a child who's away from the faith or in great moral or physical danger. Don't stop praying. You've borne your child once to this earth and your prayers can bear your child to heaven. So let your children see you praying. Pray with your husband and children. Pray often when no one is looking. Our Blessed Mother has told us time and time again that we should especially pray the rosary. Maybe it's time you picked up a new rosary or gave one as a gift to a tired mom who might need a boost in her own spiritual life. The two rosaries I wanna show you next are truly beautiful and they're just waiting for you to grab hold of and start giving your worship and your worries to our Father in heaven. This is a topaz, tulip-shaped, glass bead rosary, and it's really breathtaking. It's made with seven millimeter topaz toned faceted glass tulip beads for the Hail Marys and 10 and a half millimeter capped Our Father beads. 
It's all strung together with brass, wire, and chain with a gorgeous centerpiece and crucifix in antique brass. There's such a warm feel to this design. The centerpiece has a decorative, miraculous metal, and I love the wreath encircling the beams of the cross. This rosary was made in the USA. What a wonderful Mother's Day gift. And next is a pink glass bead rosary. This one is made from light and feminine pink and purple tones. The Hail Mary beads are five millimeter faceted glass beads, and the Our Father beads are slightly larger, rose, opal, smooth capped beads. The rosary has a pewter, floral, miraculous metal center and elegant crucifix. The beads are strung on rhodium plated brass wire and chain, and it's also made in the United States. Last, I wanna show you a perfect book for any mom on St. Monica and the power of persistent prayer. Mike Aquilina and Mark Sullivan here present a wonderful devotion that includes 18 contemporary reflections and meditations taken from the writings of St. Augustine. His mother, Monica, prayed constantly for nearly two decades for the conversion of her wayward son, Augustine. After countless tears and years and years of prayers that seemed to go unanswered, St. Monica's faithful persistence was rewarded and the entire church gained one of the most revered saints of all time. This book shows us why we shouldn't lose hope. Persistence in prayer can change everything for you, your children, even the world. St. Monica is a wonderful model for moms. Another awesome mom saint is St. Gianna Beretta Mala, and we just celebrated her feast day on April the 28th. If you haven't heard of her, St. Gianna is a modern day saint. She practiced pediatrics in Italy in the 1950s. In 1961, while pregnant with her fourth child, she was diagnosed with a dangerous uterine tumor. Doctors presented her with all the facts, including offering her an abortion but Gianna chose to put the life of her child before her own. The tumor was removed as well as it could be, and the child continued to grow, even though the pregnancy was a really difficult one. Doctors tried everything to save the life of both mother and child, but one week after the delivery of her healthy baby girl, Gianna died. She was canonized in 2004, and her husband and children, including that baby daughter named for her, were all present at her canonization. Wow. You can ask Gianna for her heavenly intercession when you wear this sterling silver St. Gianna pendant with chain. The metal measures a half inch tall by a quarter inch wide and comes on an 18 inch sterling silver light curb chain with lobster claw clasp. St. Gianna is the patron saint of mothers and physicians. Maybe you've experienced a difficult pregnancy where the life of your child couldn't be saved, or you or someone you know may have lost a baby or a very young child. Our mother's hearts never stop desiring to hold these little ones. I know that I have to constantly remind myself to place that life of my child lost in miscarriage in the arms of our Blessed Mother. I wanna show you a book that may offer you some hope and healing. It's called Nursery of Heaven, just the front cover touches me very deeply. Our Blessed Mother is surrounded by all these little children, born to heaven, waiting for us there, advocating for their families here on earth. Miscarriage, stillbirth, and infant loss happen much more than we realize, leaving so many to suffer in isolation. Nursery of Heaven is a companion to help those grieving from child loss as they search for comfort and meaning. Not only will couples be able to relate to the experiences from saints such as Louis and Zélie Martin and Gianna Mala, they'll also receive hope and consolation in their suffering from parents who have suffered a similar loss. It contains beautiful prayers and various novenas as well as just practical wisdom for our pastors, family and friends to help those who are grieving. It was written by Patrick O'Hearn and Casey Everts. As we pray and work for the protection of children in the womb, here's a beautiful three-day votive candle that includes a prayer for life. 
The front of the candle features a stained glass image of an angel holding a little baby close. And on the back is a prayer for life, which begins, O God of all creation, nurture and protect tiny children and keep them safe in the sanctuary of their mother's womb as you so wondrously form their hearts and minds and lungs and souls, so strengthen our will to lovingly nurture and protect them. We so often hear about fellow mothers in need, babies in danger of abortion, sick newborns facing long hospital stays. When you take these intentions to prayer, you can light this candle, place every situation into the hands of our blessed Lord. We have many votive candle designs all on our website, EWTNRC.com. They're all white candles encased in glass votive jars, and they'll burn for about three days total. We can keep our heavenly friends close at hand with tiny saints clip-ons. They always just bring a smile to my face when I see them hanging from my keys or my jacket zipper. I wanna show you this little Saint Gianna Mala. Her hairstyle and outfit are patterned after a real life photograph of this beautiful saint. This whimsical clip-on caricature is made of a soft plastic material and it has a sturdy swivel lobster claw clasp. We have many great tiny saints on our website. They're regularly priced at $5 each, but if you order three or more, they're discounted to $4 each when they're added to your cart. We have so many designs, you will be able to mix and match with no trouble. <laughs> I'll go ahead and show you another one now because I can't resist. This is Saint Peregrine, who we also just celebrated on May the 1st. Saint Peregrine is depicted wearing the habit of the Servite order. He has a cross shaped staff and you can see a little bandage at the bottom he suffered from a cancerous sore on his leg, which was miraculously healed by our Lord. So St. Peregrine is the patron of those suffering from cancer. So this little clip-on could just cheer the heart of someone you know who is suffering. They're great for backpacks and purses, zippers and keychains, and they're great for kids and adults. Here is a statue of this beloved saint. St. Peregrine is beautifully detailed here crafted out of a resin stone mix, and the statue is hand-painted. He clutches the cross to his breast in acceptance of that suffering, but he's also unafraid to show the Lord his great need. The statue measures 10 inches tall. To close our show, we have a Saint Peregrine Prayer Special Bundle. You'll save when you purchase this chaplet, novena booklet, and holy card together. St. Peregrine is the patron saint of the sick, especially those suffering from cancer and other diseases. This healing saint holy card has a St. Peregrine medal encased in the front and a prayer on the back for the healing of cancer through his intercession. The beautifully illustrated booklet contains a novena, a litany, a brief biography of St. Peregrine, and other prayers. And the olive wood chaplet consists of a crucifix followed by three groups of three beads. And it has a medal of St. Peregrine at the end. It comes with a card containing instructions on how to pray this chaplet. You begin with the prayer to St. Peregrine that's found on the holy card included. And then you pray three Our Fathers, Hail Marys and Glory Bees. St. Peregrine is the patron saint again of those who suffer from cancer. Now, here's a recap of all the items we showed you today, as well as information on how to order them. Today, we showed you a gold leaf alabaster crucifix, item number F54G0 for $90. The 24 inch Our Lady of Fatima statue is item number 28022 for $146. The artwork, The Coronation of the Virgin, is item number 91110 for $85. The book, Crown of the Virgin, 
is item number 7844 for $24.95. The Franciscan Crown Rosary is item number 365R for $23. The Our Lady of Knox statue is item number 7628W for $50. The Our Lady of Guadalupe Rosary and Box Set is item number 2R867 for $18. The Gold Over Sterling Celtic Knot Cross Pendant is item number GZ379018 for $49.50. The Gold Over Sterling Fleur de Lis Cross is item number G3864 for $65.50. The Murano Round Glass Rosary Bracelet is item number BX7680 for $57. The Sterling Silver Miraculous Metal and Scapular Combination is item number S11 one three one eight for thirty nine dollars and fifty cents the silver crystal rosary bracelet is item number eight four zero one s for thirty nine dollars and fifty cents the sterling silver sacred heart crucifix is item number s one two zero for sixty seven dollars the topaz tulip-shaped glass bead rosary is item number VRP610JO for $65. The pink glass bead rosary is item number PR5051PK for $53. The book, St. Monica and the Power of Persistent Prayer is item number T1261 for $14.95. The sterling silver St. Gianomala pendant with chain is item number 9322SS for $56. The book, Nursery of Heaven is item number 932 Zero two for fifteen dollars. The three day votive candle prayer for life is item number C E two zero, priced at three dollars and ninety five cents. Saint Gianna Mala, the tiny saint clip on, is item number H zero two nine three for five dollars. And the Saint Peregrine tiny saint clip on is item number H. 0286, also for $5. The St. Peregrine statue is item number 46699 for $35. And the St. Peregrine prayer special bundle is item number 43271K for $11.99. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. It was great to be with you today. God bless you.